Hi, this is Angela from Walk Weft. Today, my watercolour road test is a DIY watercolour ground. So the idea of this watercolour ground is that you can use it to base coat wood or perspex or glass or metal, and then you can use watercolours on top. I've tried it on some cardboard just to see how it works out. Um, and the recipe that I used was one part of PVA white glue to one part of French chalk whiting. It's also known as whiting. Um, and then I mix those two together using a mask because I didn't want to inhale the fine dust that um, is created from the French chalk. And once you've done that, you add some bicarbonate of soda. Now the rate of bicarbonate of soda is five to six teaspoons per 250 ml or one cup of the solution that you've made. You can add white paint to it as it is rather translucent and then you can water it down to the dis your desired viscosity. So how thick do you want it to be? Mine's a bit like runny paint um, and I found that easier to coat the paper. So what I did was the, I did the paper into three. So I put one coat on the first column, I put two coats on the second column and three coats on the third column and I left half an hour drying time between each coat and then I left the whole thing to dry for 24 hours. Now the reason that I did it that way was because I had also read on the internet that depending on how much bicarbonate of soda you have in it and depending how many layers that affects the absorbency of the paint on the surface of whatever you've uh, used the ground on. So I'm just going to put that away. Now I did record this earlier and then discovered that my camera hadn't been working. So you won't be able to see me actually put the paint on, but you can see the final results. So this was column one. So this was one coat. This is two coats. This was three coats. As you can see, the top layer, which is my blending, it hasn't really blended at all. There's a little bit of blending on the um, the two coats but one and three have not really blended at all when I used the the plain water and dropped the paint in the plain water wasn't absorbed it just sat on the top of the surface and so when I dropped the paint in it just went into the puddle and then dried as the puddle dried when I tried scrubbing it on the first layer, it wasn't too bad. On the second and third layers, it started to reactivate the glue and it became sticky. In fact, the third one became really sticky and my brush was sticking to that. When I had a look at the lifting, again, it was much better with only one coat. With two coats, there wasn't all that much difference. But by the time I got to the third coat, because it was sitting on the top, even though I used paper towel to wipe off, it still ran back over because there was water sitting on the surface. So all in all, I would say this is a particularly bad fail. If you wanted to try watercolour ground, it is made commercially. That might be a better bet to try out. Um, and it is available from two or three different companies.